Hey there, colleagues with Jim Mahelly here. Uh, we're inside the new police and fire building. Uh, actually, at a fun little spot. Uh, this is a little, uh, this is the fire pole, as you can see here. Runs down below. Um, this is the, from the, the bunks are up here on the second floor for our fire department, for the men and women of our fire department now. This is, you can see out into the bays inside here. Um, and see the red, you can see the red doors up there. They kind of turned them off, but there's a series of lights. Let me see. No, I can't control it. But there's um, really cool something I saw today for the first time is the red lights inside the space here that are, uh, will be less bright on the outside for, for the neighborhood around. So police and fire building coming along. Um, it's kind of a lot like if you've remodeled the kitchen. Uh, there's, of course, things that are uh, little bumps for us, things that are costing a little more than we thought they were, some things that people, that uh, some of the professionals didn't have, right? So there's uh, changes and there's some things that are happening, but we're moving along, probably going to be completed May or June. Um, we'll be able to move everybody in, we hope by the end of June, certainly by the 4th of July. Things are rolling along. Hopefully the, the it's the end of the day here, so you can hear some of the contractors finishing up. Um, let me give you an update, a few other things. There's a town forum that's coming up on May 21st. Um, make sure you, not May 21st, April 21st. Uh, it's on Zoom. You can come in through the borough website. Um, I don't know if you may, maybe you've heard that there's an election coming up. So uh, all I urge all of you to do is that the deadline for uh, registering to vote is April the 20th. Uh, so make sure you get registered and participate. Um, we're starting to get going on some other events in another week. I think the next Thursday, on the 22nd, that would be, is our Get Up uh, Night, which is at the Scottish Rite, appropriately distanced. Um, but it's our night where you want to get involved and volunteer. Um, all Pretty much all of our uh, groups in town that uh, are looking for volunteers as we try to like get things started up again, um, they'll be out there that night. Uh, we're going to be starting with Second Saturdays are going to happen. Uh, because we don't have the same congregation of people that we do for some of the other events, like cruise night, that's not going to start yet. Um, farmers market will be coming at the beginning of May. Um, we're trying to, we're hoping by the end of May, we'll be able to loosen up some of the restrictions. But we're going to kind of open it up, pretty similar rules to what we had when it closed up uh, at the end of uh, 2020. Um, there, it's going to be laid out differently. It's going to be a long run along the uh, right under the speed line, as opposed to kind of going through the parking lot uh, to try and make it easier for people that are doing other business uh, in the borough. We had to open up those parking lots again. Um, so, so those things are coming. Our pandemic recovery team, we're getting that pulled together. Um, our first meeting is going to be in the next week or two. Thank you to all those who have um, uh, agreed to help us with that. Uh, we got some real great doctors and public health specialists, as well as our businesses and residents in town to try and give us, uh, give us some guidance uh, as we're all coming out of this. Um, related to that, I keep getting questions about how we're going to spend the money that's coming from the feds. Um, it's going to be roughly 1.3 uh, million. I can tell you that um, we have gotten no official confirmation of that. Uh, it's not helping offset our budget this year because the timelines for adoption of the budget are quicker than the timeline for getting that money in. So we haven't gotten confirmation, so we can't include it in the budget. And and we we are not going to get it all at once. It's going to come over a couple, two to three years. Um, until they figure all that out, um, we're not planning to spend any of it. Um, one of the things, um, like we're, we'll be doing little things, like things like at the pool, trying to expand to have more pe more people in. We're probably gonna get tables, umbrellas, chairs out and have people hi uh, hired to go and sanitize them in between groups um, groups using them. Uh, another little thing like that is over at the Scottish Right, kind of on the grass area of the corner, up at the Pike and Harrison, we're probably, we're gonna be putting up a huge tent um, that we're gonna use for activities uh, Scottish Rite's going to be used for uh, some graduations, some school events. Um, we're trying to use it as much as we can, start to get other facilities together that will help us during the summer to do different events to keep them on, to keep them on schedule. 
So that um, that there'll be more information coming out about that once we get it up. We see how it works, and and it'll be avail available for people to rent out if you want to do kind of our think of it kind of as an outdoor community center. Um, and we're going to try and get that try and get that going. Um, I think that's kind of a run through of everything. Uh, oh, I know one more thing, important thing uh, I forgot is um, on the park view. We're in the last stages of uh, formally adopting a, um, a, a an ordinance that requires security at the park view. Uh, the police chief just reported to me, to me today that he had a meeting with the with the park view that they presented him with a plan, a pretty detailed plan. That uh, we'll be getting out more details on that as that gets finalized. Um, It'll be all uh, incorporated within the ordinance that we adopt, um, but he's hopeful that um, there's some serious attention being paid to uh, security there, and we're hoping that that um, makes, a, makes a huge stride for the people that live there. So you'll see more of that as we're getting closer um, to the May commission meeting, because we're hoping to have that all done and implemented by the time we do the final adoption on the ordinance. It'll be in place when we do that. So um, that's kind of a quick rundown of things. Um, again, here's the Paul. I, I would be really do a great exit to shoot on there, but so much for great exits. Um, okay, you guys all have a great weekend. Thanks, see you later.